Hey everyone, this is David Brown with the migration update for May 13th, 2022 from the Braddock Bay Hawk Watch. Yes, today was the dreaded Friday the 13th, but actually it was another beautiful sunny day with warm southerly winds at the beginning that eventually shifted around to more easterly winds. Here is yours truly participating in the Swarovski Optic global big day live stream where we had birders from around the world live streaming from different sites and showing off the birds that we were seeing. So I'll put a link to that in the description if you would like to check out that recording. Here we have a male orchard oriole that was perched up and singing behind the platform. We had a nice close look at a green heron as it flew by the platform. And here we have the much larger great blue heron. Here we have a bald eagle gliding high overhead. And right around 9 o'clock, um, a lot of the vultures were starting to come up with broad wings mixed in and bald eagles. And it was really a pretty spectacular flight for the first few hours while those winds remained more southerly. And then even as they shifted around to the east, we still had a, we could see the flight line from the platform. But eventually, as the wind shifted more, uh, the flight line was drifting farther and farther inland. Here we have a juvenile northern harrier. And here we have an American pipit, and we had some big flocks of pipits a few days ago, but today I just photographed this one. And here we have a bald eagle that's not quite a full adult. We can still see a little bit of white in the wings and body, and maybe a little bit of black in the tail and head. Around noon, we moved into Frisbee Hill Park, and we had some broad wings for the first little bit, and then we lost those. But the turkey vulture flight remained pretty steady most of the afternoon and uh, ended up with over a thousand turkey vultures, which for this time of year is a great total. Here we have an osprey carrying a stick to the nest on the cell phone tower. And here is another look at one of the local osprey. If we take a look at eBird, I had 56 species for Braddock Bay Park this morning, although with the live stream, I never had a chance to actually walk around and look for warblers. So if I had done that, I'm sure I would have picked up many more species. And at Frisbee Hill, I had 40 species. If we take a look at hawk count for our migrant raptor totals, today we had 1,190 turkey vultures, one osprey, 70 bald eagles, 17 northern harriers, 27 sharp-shinned hawks, two cooper's hawks, 463 broad-winged hawks, 13 red-tailed hawks, for a total of 1,783. The only new species for the season today was a spotted sandpiper that flew over calling in the early morning. And if we take a look at the forecast, we finally have a break from the same weather that we've had over and over for the past week or so. So for tomorrow, we're looking at variable clouds with scattered showers and thunderstorms, mainly in the afternoon, high in the mid-70s, winds east at 5 to 10 miles per hour. So it's looking like the early morning conditions could be pretty good, again, for songbirds and warblers and maybe the start of the raptor flight. And then uh, it'll depend on the timing of when the winds start to shift and when the showers or thunderstorms move in. So it could be a decent day in the morning, um, or if the weather turns sour earlier, then we might not get much at all. So we'll just keep an eye on the exact timing of things. For Sunday, we're looking at scattered thunderstorms in the morning, partly cloudy later, high in the mid-70s, winds west, Yes, finally, westerly winds. We've had easterly winds for like a week now. Winds west at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And again, it looks like um, the morning could be decent overall. And then after that, will depend on just the timing of any of the rain, thunderstorms, showers, whatever's going to happen. And for Monday, it's looking rainy. The high is only in the low 60s. And stronger westerly winds at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain, 80%. So it's a decent wind direction. There might even be a little bit of southwest in it at the beginning, um, but it will really just depend on how heavy the rain is and how thick the cloud cover is, especially since this time of year we're mainly looking for things like broad wings and turkey vultures and bald eagles that um, usually prefer to have some thermals to fly on. So um, we're kind of winding down on things like sharp shins and uh, falcons that might be more willing to push through on a rainy day. All right, that's it for today. 
If you like this video, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any of these daily updates from the Braddock Bay Hawk Watch. This is David Brown. Thanks for watching.